Last Sunday, we read from the book of Acts about the selection of Matthias as the new 12th apostle. And I'm going to reread a portion of that. This is from Acts chapter 1. Peter said, It is necessary to choose one of the men who have been with us the whole time the Lord Jesus was living among us, beginning from John's baptism to the time when Jesus was taken up from us. For one of these must become a witness with us of his resurrection. This is the word of the Lord. It's interesting that the Bible doesn't say anything more about Matthias after his selection to be the 12th apostle. But I believe that one of the important things that is emphasized in the selection of Matthias is the faithfulness of that generation of Christians, their faithfulness in seeking out and then carrying out God's will. They knew that it was important to replace Judas. They knew it was important to do so in accordance with God's will. So the Christians got together as one. They prayed. They studied God's word. They looked to their leaders, Peter especially, for guidance. And when God revealed his will to them, they faithfully carried it out and put God's will into action. Now, I'm sure that Peter and many of the others there learned from Jesus the importance of knowing and carrying out God's will. Knowing and carrying out God's will, that's what led Jesus to the cross to pay for our sins. And it's what led him to the grave and his defeat of death on Easter. Jesus is one who knew and carried out God's will. What's God's will for you today? What opportunity for good has God set before you today? Don't be afraid to serve the Lord with gladness. Your labor in him is never in vain. Let us pray. Almighty God, you chose your servant Matthias to be numbered among the twelve. Grant that your church today may ever be guided by your word and by faithful and true leaders, so that your will be done. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.